scientists should be aware of the longer, deeper, human element of what they do. I'm really interested in ideas, how they move around the place, how they travel, how these ideas are communicated both from person to person and in manuscripts. I'm really fascinated by the medieval notion of order, the way in which their thinkers think about the world, the sorts of things they use to talk about the world. Ordering the universe, ordering the household, ordering the body, this is, these are the questions that I'm really interested in exploring, and this through my teaching and through my research. The resources for studying the Middle Ages at Durham are considerable, uh, both in the fabric and the very makeup of the place but also in terms of how we can handle and how we can look at the manuscripts. The Conservation Lab is an extremely important part of that. The Parker Research Library is a wonderful place. Having these resources on our doorstep introduces our students to the Middle Ages right from the beginning. A good part of the research is to inform teaching and a good part of teaching is to inform research. My research focuses on the High Middle Ages the period of the great cathedrals, the Crusades. It's a really exciting period. It's got an awful lot of pageantry and carnival. At the moment, one of my main projects is looking at the work of Robert Grossetest, who might not be a household name, um, but was one of the most creative thinkers of the 13th century. This is a rather unusual project. Grossetest was a uh, Bishop of Lincoln from 1235 to 1253. In the earlier part of his career, though, he was a great commentator on the mathematical arts, what we might call science. It covers a wide range of topics, natural phenomena such as colour, light, the rainbow, and from the creation of the universe to how one perceives uh, direction and sound. I'm leading a team of medievalists, but also modern scientists, to have a look at this scientific corpus that he, that he leaves. Grossetest was one of the first people to grapple with the new Aristotelian knowledge, which is spreading across uh, Western Christendom. These transform the intellectual environment in which Western scholars work. One of the big aims of my research is to get this project uh, to a much wider public and uh, to tell people how important this creative thinker was, to give a new narrative to for modern science, to remind scientists of the importance of their own past and to show the impact of humanities research on scientific thinking. Medieval studies is something, with the science project in particular, that we can make relevant to modern discourse uh, and modern perceptions of where we've come from and where we're going.